this time log gets updated on a regular basis. It shows the employees and the time they clocked in at work. But Excel is unable to recognize the values in column D as time because time units are separated by columns. But these values have no separators, aka delimiters. Now, Flashfield can fix this in seconds. Just type a few examples. Press Ctrl E and it fills down. However, it gives incorrect results sometimes, just like this. And when you have a long list, this becomes an inefficient approach. So in this video, I'll show you how to make this dynamic with the help of formulas. And if you have another approach, please feel free to share the knowledge in the comment section below. Thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. To convert these values to time, you need the time function. The time function has three arguments, hour, minute and second. If you look closely, you notice that the time is in a 24 hour format. So some cells have five digits while others have six digits. So the first thing I'll do is to make the number of digits uniform by adding a leading zero. And a quick but manual way to do that is to change the format using the custom format. I'll show you quickly. I like the column, press Ctrl one, click custom format. The current number format is general as you can see in the type box. I'll select the first format and modify it to create six digits and that's six zeros. Click OK. Each cell now has six digits. Now instead of changing the format manually, you can use the text function to make it dynamic. So I'll undo the custom format. Now type text. The value is in D4. Now wrap the format in quotation marks, six zeros and enter. And that's it. This is an Excel table. So the formula will copy down automatically. Now there are a number of ways you can split text. There are new functions like text split, text after, but they all work with delimiters, but these values have no delimiters. So I'll use the good old left, right, and mid functions to extract the time unit. Start with the time function. The next step is to extract the hour with the left function. The hour is the first two digits. So text is an E4 and the number of characters is two. Next, we'll extract the minutes with the mid function. Text is an E4. Start from the third value. Its number of characters is two. Lastly, extract the seconds with the right function. Text is an E4 and the number of characters is two. Close the bracket. Now, if you want to change the format, just press Ctrl one and you can choose from the existing formats or you create a new one and the preview will be displayed in the sample box. I'll go with the 24 hour format. Now, when new data is provided, I can just copy it, add to the list and it populates automatically. Easy, eh? Let's see how Power Query will fix this. Right click and select get data from table or range. Now there are several methods you can use. However, the easiest is column from example, which is similar to flash fill in Excel. Select the time column in the add column tab, column from example, from selection. Enter a sample of the time format in the first cell. Press the down arrow to move to the second cell. Enter the correct format again. Now the preview looks okay. So press control and enter. And now we have the time. No formulas needed. Change the data type. Delete these columns. I'll rename this time. Now go to the home tab and close and load to a table. I'll just place it right next to the source. The time is in a 12 hour format, so you can change it if you want. Choose your desired format. Now when new data is provided, just right click and refresh and the list gets updated automatically. 
Now, depending on the source of your data, Power Query might be just a fantastic approach. And we're all done today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.